thanks for tuning in. It's the one and only Optibotomist Kimmich with another video review. And happy First Contact Day. And on today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support from the folks over at Factory Entertainment, we're going to be taking a look at their new Star Trek The Next Generation medical set prop replica. And as I said, today is appropriately First Contact Day, which according to Lieutenant Commander Data in Star Trek First Contact, is the date that mankind will meet the Vulcans and realize they're not alone in the universe. And what better way to celebrate that than taking a look at an incredible prop replica from the folks that really know how to do them. Starting off first with the packaging, as you can see, the top section here has this really nice Starfleet Delta logo. Absolutely love that. The side here and everything has the kind of iconic image of the characters from the next generation with Starfleet right there. Got the Enterprise in the background, all that fun stuff. But that's pretty much the same all the way around. Come around to the bottom of the package, I'll flip it around, and it tells you that this is not a toy. Although, I'm going to be having a lot of fun with it. Once you get out of that heavy-duty foam, this is what you have. Absolutely gorgeous, heavy-duty wood construction box, gorgeous metal clasp here in the front, very smooth and very uh, classy looking, absolutely love that. The back section, you can see the metal hinges, the bottom section here has uh, the Star Trek information. Before I get into too much of it, I also do want to mention that you do get this instruction sheet as well as what serves as the cert Certificate of Authenticity. It goes through the actual kind of history of the props and how that this was essentially copied from the existing props that CBS still had. Now, while there were differences throughout the many years, different seasons had different kind of things done to them, Factor Entertainment took the best elements of all of them to create this. So while not an exact replica of one particular that pieces from the show it kind of merges all the best ones to give us what we have which i think is the best way to do it as i said it also does serve as a certificate of authenticity goes through the instructions come around the back and it shows how to replace the batteries with it always really nice to get this and again a reminder that th this is not a toy but what you have like i said is a gorgeous gorgeous set top section here you can see you have a very nice clear window with that delta logo on there as well absolutely really gorgeous presentation in this the only thing i kind of wish that it had would be like a little stand where i could display it standing up like that so you can see it better because as it is it's going to sit down here and you're going to see it if you have it on a lower table but i, I wish and i probably could just find that myself just a way to kind of prop it up but i would love if they did something like that, that would be cool. But they don't ever ask me about development on, on things. I, I have ideas. They don't ever listen to me. But you can open it. And then you've got the hinges right here, which do lock it in an upright position. And this is it. Absolutely spectacular. Now, if I'm going to come down a little bit, that way we can get a better look at everything while it's inside the box here. This is what you have. And all I can say is... While they've been doing uh, Star Trek props for a while now, this one really does feel like it's a tease for something that they might do later on. Because, honestly, you can't have this medical set without the actual medical tricorder. Now, this is my vintage one from when I was a kid. Uh, I actually have both versions of them. This is the 560 uh, regular and the medical one. Not really much changes between them, but... I just feel like this whole set is a tease at something like this. And while I do have that, what is it, the 590? This is the classic one that I would love, the 560. And you can turn it on, you can see that that lights, oh, you might not even be able to see, oh, it kind of lights up. And then you can push buttons, blinks here. I mean, if we could get an actual full-on replica of that, my mind would blow the nice thing about this as you can see it does have an extension piece right here i should bring that back out it is basically the same but this is where the hand scanner was kind of stationed so that's why i'm saying i feel like you can get that because the first item in here is the hand scanner now this is made out of a real nice metal piece like i feel like doing the cold touch feels like there's a lot of metal that's in here i'm, I'm trying to see this this no that kind of feels like metal as well but this is a gorgeous piece everywhere around here you can see an amazing amount of detail very clean looking yeah, sterile I, I i guess you could say i mean it's a medical piece so it's going to have that look now bringing in the toy 
you can see that there's a lot of similar similarities between them. Uh, this was a little bit thicker, obviously, uh, but you have the little light section right there, and you go around and you would scan and do your thing. This, you could do the same thing. No, people are going to ask. No, you can't put it in there. It doesn't fit. It's uh, a little bit too long, so it doesn't fit in there. But <laughs> again, like I said, I feel like it's a tease. I don't know. But gorgeous, gorgeous detail all the way around. Very simple, but very clean. You got a button right here that when you push it, and now, ready? Wait for it. There it is. You got the light. You can see that it kind of bleeds through here. Oh, it's a little bit hard to see um, because I do have a lot of bright lights here, but you can clearly see that. And I can go around, you know, I'm gonna do it just, just because. And you can, hold on. No, that's not. That's the sound, um, but you can hear that this is a far more accurate representation from the actual uh, show. I'm scanning. I'm scanning. Oh, oh no, doctor. Doctor, we're losing our patient. We're losing our patient. Oh, they're, they're dead. Oh, well. Uh, so absolutely gorgeous level of detail in here. And again, like I said, hopefully there's something else along with it. Uh, now I should point this out as well before I get to the main kind of part of this. This is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that this is also in a very nice heavy metal piece. Medical scanner and hypo spray, limited edition. I got the number on there, what's that say? 326. So my edition is, but you can see very thick, heavy duty metal, and that sits in there absolutely wonderfully. Now, of course, you can't have a medical scanner without the other item that was iconic for any of the doctors in Star Trek, that being the hypo spray and again gorgeous gorgeous recreation here now i have seen online some people wanting to complain about the size of it personally i think the size is perfectly fine logically the majority of the time that we saw this being used was by gates mcfadden who played dr beverly crusher and her being a female it's going to have smaller hands so it looked bigger in her hands than it does here but i still think that it fits perfectly in a, a larger person's hand and it has a weight much like this one has metal in it the whole main section of this is made out of heavy duty die cast um i'm trying to this feels like it might be abs right up uh, at the top section here but there, there's a weight to this um you can hear that very very solid and again gorgeous detail recreated wonderfully in terms of the handle the head of it with this really nice goldish bronze color you can even see like a little tiny hole right there now the best part has got to be the fact that you have three different vials right here they are filled with liquid you got a greenish yellow one right here you can see the liquid in there very easily you have a purplish one all of them have that fluid in there so you can move it around and then you have a pinkish red one and always what they did was you had that there and then they would come around and put it in <laughs> i can't even tell you how fun this is just to kind of play around with it but they would beautiful Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so you would go around and the doctors and everything would put in different medications and things of that nature. Come around here and... Again, letting you hear that noise. You push that top button and you get the... Actual inserting of that fluid, that medication. And the bottom section, I think this is more designed as like a full-on spray, but... You have that sound as well. And that's like, I'm guessing, I'm not sure. And then this one is the, because usually when I would hear it, it, it sounded more like that. But again, letting you hear it. Oh, wait. I mean, that's phenomenal. Again, heavy duty, great feel in the hand. Uh, these little bits right here, you do have a little magnet section that you can kind of see right up there, or that just might be a little metal bit right there, and the, the magnet bite might be on the inside here, but it, it holds it perfectly. Let's see. Test it. Is it coming out? Mm, mm, mm. That's not coming out, um, and you can even see I shook that up pretty darn good. That's in there pretty solidly, so I love it. 
I'm going to go around spraying people and everything. Um, one of the best things that I have in my collection, period. Uh, you, you guys know that I love Star Trek and all this kind of stuff. And I, I really am hopeful that they do more. Literally, I talk to them quite often and I throw out stupid random ideas for things that I would love them to do. Like Odo's Bucket. I would love it if they did Odo's Bucket. Other things, like the Sword of Kalos. I think that a lot of times other companies have done Batleths. I would love it if they gave us a Sword of Kalos. Obviously, the Tricorder. You could easily do something like this with the medical set and then make this top section removable so you could have a regular Tricorder. Hell, even something simple like a baseball on a stand to recreate uh, Ben Sisko's baseball that he had on his desk. These are little minor ideas that I constantly throw out to them that, eh, I don't know if they pay attention to me. Because I'm just kind of a crazy kid that loves Star Trek and would love to get all the things. Um, but this is a simply gorgeous, gorgeous set. I, I cannot tell you how excited I am uh, that they decided to do this. And hopefully, and I'm trying to get a nice setup here, and hopefully do more in the future i really think that there's a lot of fun things that they could do and i would be 100 percent on board with pretty much anything they would come out with uh, i'm trying to zoom in here and it's not working very well i mean everything about this just to me is a, a, an absolute home run um i can't i can't thank them enough for making this stuff so there you go, guys. There's my look at the new Star Trek The Next Generation medical set prop replica. If you'd like to pick this up, I'm going to put a link right down in the video description where you can head on over to Factory Entertainment and add this to your collection today. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in and watching. And as always, in the immortal words of the one and only Spock, live long and prosper.